What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is the APA Season 5 Week 2 matchup of the San Francisco Giantes and the San Diego Chim Chargers, coached by Lord MV himself, my good friend, my front officer, who obviously couldn't help me in this battle, uh, and it could not have come at a worse time. So, um, for those of you who are wondering, like, where's the team builder? What's going on? Why is this a post come? Uh, I've been in Minnesota for the past week. I'm just now getting back. It's Saturday. I'm tired. Um, I had to do all my team building on my phone in a hotel room, uh, and I had to battle without any of my setup equipment. So um, I just had to save, and then we're just going to do a post -com. And usually it's not going to be like this. It's just that if I'm out of town and the only times that we can battle, MV and I couldn't have battled during any other time than that week. So we... We made do with what we could. Uh, I am back from Minnesota now. Hopefully this shouldn't uh, interfere too much with my other battles in the future. But we are looking at a matchup of uh, Victini, Celebi, Mega Metacham, Hoopa Unbound, Metagross, and my boy Ditto. And we're going up against Mega Deancey, Drapion, Golurk, Jirachi, Wabuffet, and Gliscor. And so, looking at his team... Um, my team building was like a little more simplistic and much more much more like 252 252s because I was having I didn't have like all my tools available to me my computer uh, with my spreadsheets and stuff like that so it was my spreads were a little more standard so what I was building one of the things I really wanted to make sure I was prepared for with MV was the numerous anti psychics that he has so uh, he has Drapion he's got a ghost in Golurk uh, and then he actually has two psychics of his own, one of which being Wabuffet. But and then he ended up bringing all of them, which I think was the was a, a smart move on his part, but not one that I wasn't prepared for. So let's get into this battle and see. This is a fire battle, guys. So um, let's get into it and kind of go over the the postcom. I'm not much of a postcomer, but we'll see. We'll see how I do here. So what's Envy's line? Uh, I, like I challenged him, and that was my first mistake. So anyway, so we lead with Bay as he ends up leading with Mirror Mirror. So I was kind of anticipating this. He's going to definitely want this thing to get its magic bounce set up. I'm just going to go ahead and click the safe Giga Drain here. Obviously not going to risk that he would not stay in here. I, I gained a lot of information from this turn and there's no reason for me to not click Giga Drain. Uh, the switch-ins that he could have for it would be something like Jirachi. It just seemed like the right move. And now here I'm actually going to predict him to switch out because there's not really any stab things I'm particularly afraid of for the DNC. Uh, and so I take this as an opportunity for me to get my Stealth Rock, which I think will help me out a lot in this battle. Uh, so I do end up getting it out. I'm a little worried about taking a knockoff from this. Offensive sets can definitely take on Selvi. And I know he has x Scizor as one of the coverage moves he can learn. So I switch into Ditto to try and take that. And he actually... He he predicts that and clicks Earthquake, and not just that, he's also banded and almost takes out my Ditto. So I'm kind of in a, a problematic situation here, but I'm going to predict him to switch. I actually predicted him to switch into Gliscor. Uh, so I click Knockoff here, thinking it'll do one of two things. If he goes to Gliscor, then I neuter it. I get rid of the Toxic Orb, he never gets it activated. And if he stays in, then I get rid of that Choice Band, which means a lot of my other Mons are no longer in one-hit KO potential by that Drapion. That Drapion's going to be a problem, I know it. So I end up switching out against it after he makes that amazing Deancey switch. I go back into Bay to take whatever Deancey's got to hit me with. And then he ends up doubling again. So he's got my number here. He's got Drapion in. I'm forced to to switch again here. At this point, it just makes sense to sack the Ditto. I, I don't really have anything that's going to want to take a hit from this. And it's just, he, he, it was an amazing switch. He put me in a bad situation. So first one to go down here is... Remix himself, um, so after a couple of really good plays by Envy. So, but this does give me a free Apple Teeny switch in. I do have the speed creep on this guy now that I know that he's banded, uh, and I know that Deancey's the only thing he has on his squad right now that could even remotely be okay with taking a V Create. So I end up clicking sub here, and being the sub lefty set that I have, 
allows me to kind of like scout his initial switch in because I know that I have coverage for everything on his squad because anything that would be okay with taking a V create would not be okay with taking a hidden power steal. And so I click the hidden power steal as he's forced to power gem to try and take out the sub. Uh, and then mirror mirror ends up going down. So um, I'm back up to a pretty good amount of HP. I've had two ticks of lefties against my sub damage that I gave to myself. He's going to end up going into Gliscor. I don't want to take the Earthquake here, so uh, I'm going to end up switching on to Celebi because Celebi is one of the defensive mons that I know that can handle this pretty well. I forgot to click off DNC. Boom. Uh, so I switch out there, and he's actually a curse set. Um, see, now, Swords Dance, I wouldn't have minded that much. I would have the speed control uh, and the offensive presence to take him out in one hit, and it wouldn't have been that much of an issue. But the curse set is problematic. Uh, so I have to U-turn right away. The Mons I have on my squad that have the ice coverage are Metacham and Metagross. And Metagross can't really take a an offensive boosted Earthquake. Uh, so I have to go into Psychic here. Uh, he's going to click Curse again. So he's now at plus two defense, plus two attack. And um, running the calcs, it's looking like I can two-hit KO with Metachem. But there's the unfortunate nature of... You guys know me. Uh, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I'm not a huge fan of Gliscor because I think it's... The way it plays is just very, very boring. Um, I don't like mons that have built into the strategy, the core strategy of that Pokemon's being to just click Protect. Uh, and it, I mean, it gains it a lot. Like, it, it's the right move to do with Gliscor. I just, I really don't like it. So anyway, he, he clicks Protect here. He's just scouting it out. Um, I'm going to, obviously, I'm just going to be forced to spam Ice Punch until uh, one of us goes down here. He's got the setup situation going on. He clicks Earthquake, um, and it gets me this close to knocked out. I ran the calculator. It didn't look like, um, it didn't look like it had the potential to KO me, but it, it came really close. He's able to click protect here again. Um, Gliscor being Gliscor. And between the two ticks of Poison Heal from last turn and this turn, he's going to be out of range for Ice Punch, even a, a high roll. So I'm crossing my fingers for a crit here. Don't quite get it. Uh, and he ends up clicking Earthquake, which will take out the Psychic. So Mega Metacham, the coverage was huge, super important for me, but that uh, the curse set was really good. So I decide that my next move here is definitely going to be to go into Hoopa. Hoopa will outspeed the Gliscor, obviously, because of the, the curses, and I can threaten him with what he thinks would be a Hyperspace Fury. So he's not able to click Protect, and I'm able to just claim a KO here with Psychic uh, against his unboosted special attack. So we now have Gliscor down and that's going to be huge uh, for Victini. The two biggest things uh, that he could switch in against Victini are now gone. Uh, so I'm going to switch out here. The Drapion of course is just going to be such a massive threat. I know it has packs the X's or uh, I know I got two four times weak bug mons. I'm just going to end up sacking Celebi here because I didn't really need it anymore. Uh, two things that it would have been very useful against are now gone. Uh, one of them it ended up not being very useful against. So I sack the Victini and that, or sorry, I sack the Celebi and that gives me a free Victini. He wisely saves his um, his Drapion there and ends up going into Wobbuffet. So I had clicked V Create here just because I was just I was just prepared to claim a kill. I didn't feel like I really needed the substitute, and that's kind of a good thing that I ended up doing it that way because. Uh, I ran the risk of being encored by this uh, into something that might have given him some opportunities in the future. So I just ended up clicking V-Create twice uh, and taking out the wall buffet here. Also, uh, looking back on it, I don't know that this was going through my mind at the time, but it definitely makes sense that I didn't click the sub against the Drapion, because that's what I did the first time, and it would have been... Not an unreasonable thing for him to think, I'm just going to Earthquake this until the sub's gone or something like that. So it could have just ended up being uh, sort of a waste for me. So he ends up going into the Go Lurk here. Uh, I'm being at minus two speed and defenses. Uh, I want to save Victini for later. He's actually a rock polished Go Lurk set. Very unfortunate. Um, so I'm going to try and play around this a little bit. 
So uh, I'm Darkinium Z on my hula, and one move I actually have on this thing is snatch. So I click Z snatch here. For those of you who don't know what Z snatch does, Z snatch is uh, a plus two to my speed as well as the effects of snatch, which would steal any kind of boosting move or status move or something like that. So if he'd clicked rock polish again, and there wasn't really a reason for him to, and as you can see here, he clicks another ending nightmare against me. Um, if he had clicked rock polish again, I actually would have gotten plus four from that and outsped him because we both would have been plus four and I could have swept that entire game. So I was trying to put myself into a position where there was an opportunity, there was an outcome where I might have actually taken the game there. Unfortunately, it didn't work out quite that way, uh, so I end up losing one Mon from it. Uh, he clicks the Earthquake against Z-Drive here as I bring in my Metagross, and Metagross is going to be able to take that, and I'm going to be able to fire back with an Ice Punch. Um, good coverage against his team in general, having that Ice uh, support. Uh, it doesn't end up taking him out, but I'm pretty sure that a Bullet Punch will. He reads that move and ends up switching into uh, Gimme Fortune, which is Jirachi. Uh, so I'm now... I'm pretty much forced to sack the Metagross here. There's not really any alternative. It, it was a good read on his part to try and play around that and uh, try and preserve some differential, if you saw it. So he ends up going for the Shadow Ball, revealing that he's specially offensive, and that's going to take out the Metagross. So I'm down to just Victini, seeing what I can do here. My coverage on Victini, Hidden Power Steel is not going to help me much. Bolt Strike uh, is not going to help me much. He ends up winning the Speed Tie here, so I take a little bit of a hit, uh, and he gets a special D drop, which is irrelevant because this is his only special... Uh, an offensive Mon left. I have to click V Create here. It's the only thing that's going to take out Jirachi in one hit. Um, and it's a good thing that I hadn't said, okay, well, maybe I can go Bolt Strike, Bolt Strike, and then try something later. Uh, that would have risked him switching, obviously, if I'd gone for the second Bolt Strike. Um, uh, maybe into like the Golurk, which wouldn't have really mattered, but ultimately the, the Speed Tide didn't really change anything because. Uh, I would have lost the speed due to the V create anyway, uh, and so I do end up going down to the banded Drapion, having just taken out his Jirachi, meaning that I have a very unfortunate but very exciting 2-0 loss against the Chim Chargers this week, putting me at 1-1 one one, uh, with a zero differential, I believe. I think I won last week. Yeah, I won last week 2-0. Uh, I lost this week 0-2, uh, so we are right Right smack in the middle, guys, uh, with week two. It was a good match. I felt like maybe I could have prepared a little bit more, but uh, life's, life's life, guys. I didn't really have the time for it. So uh, very much hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do always like battling MV, but this time wasn't able to quick claw my way out of a loss uh, and a defeat. Looking forward to week three, we're going to be going up against uh, Leo, and he's an excellent battler too. Haven't really run the calcs yet or done any of the team building for that yet, but looking at it, it looks like he does have some decent things to deal with a mono psychic, but uh, very much looking forward to seeing what I can piece together, uh, and you guys can definitely check that out. Uh, when it goes live next week. Uh, I'll talk briefly about the, the GBA situations that were going on. There was a lot of discontent with the coaches for a lot of things. The tweet that went out was that it was a logistical issue, and that's not untrue. We were forced... You might remember me talking about it in the GBA Week 1 video. It was a very stressful time for the Jenners. Uh, I know we got a lot of heat from people saying, like, why didn't you guys just, like, breed? I can assure anyone watching this channel, I do not have time to breed mons. I barely have time to just team build and battle, uh, let alone breed my mons. So that would have meant that I was out of the league. It also would have meant probably several other people who were very busy were out of the league too, and the league would have crumbled in that, re in that regard anyway if we weren't able to gen and just had to breed. Uh, and just ultimately, there was a lot of dissatisfaction about LGPE. I was one of the people verbalizing it as well, but I didn't want to try and, you know, 
take the league and detour it. Uh, we decided it was just going to be better to just do a different format and just start it over. We we really wanted the LGPE. We thought, you know, it's a brand new game. We can maybe capitalize on some hype. There's not really any hype anymore. And so there's no point in just doing an inferior meta. And I, I didn't particularly like it. I didn't like my team, really. I'm not familiar with the meta. I felt like I was just clicking buttons. And I think that's kind of what LGPE is anyway. So ultimately we decided it just wasn't in the best interest. And so we're looking at making some changes and there'll be more information about that later. You guys can check that out on the Twitter, uh, at GBA official Twitter. And uh, there will be some more updates there. Um, I am exhausted from my travels. I got some unpacking to do and I'm starving. So I am gonna see you guys later as always. My name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys next time.